Hey guys, so today is going to be a beach vlog. Um, my hair is pulled back. I, it looked all pretty for my beauty video that I filmed, and then I was like, you know what, forget it, it's just a vlog. Sorry to put you guys on like the, you know, lesser scale. It's not what I mean at all, but yeah, I just wanted to pull my hair back. Um, yeah, so I'm at the beach. Um, it's really pretty. I've never been to a Gulf Beach before because I lived in Las Vegas and now I live in um I, I live like in not in Las Vegas I live on the eastern area but um yeah so the very first day we were at the beach I got burned like like you guys can tell like it kind of looks like a tan line on there but it's not it's a burn um and it is pretty bright pink but not as bright as it was on Sunday after I got like home from the beach. Like not home from the beach, but you know, I was in the hotel room from the beach. Um, it was freaking red. Like you think I'm joking, but I'm not. It was like Coney bracelet red. It was like that red, and it was awful. It hurts. It still hurts, especially when I like sleep because I tend to sleep on my side. Um, and it hurts so bad when I sleep on that side, because I really like sleeping on my left side. But, yeah. But other than that, I've been having a really good time at the beach. Um, you know, we went shelling. I found a conch shell that is boiling right now, because we're making sure nothing's in there. But, um, I went shelling. I found the shell. It is a conch shell that is literally this big. Let me move to where you guys can see it. This big. Like, that's huge. Like, that's, like, almost as big as my, well, that actually is as long as my head, but not as wide as my head. But, it's huge. Like, it could eat your face off. Um, so I found that. And I found a lot of other cool shells. My mom, like, I'm pretty sure we're all going to be pro shellers afterwards, because she, we came to the beach and she's like, oh, I can't wait to go shelling. My mom doesn't sound like that. But I like to make her sound like that. Um, but yeah, so she... She awakened something in us, known as a sheller, and, yeah, um, let's see, oh, the week before last, I was at this thing, um, at Lipscomb University, which is a Christian college, called Impact, and so I had sunglasses, right, all I wear are aviators, and the occasional wayfarers, but they're like big wayfarers that I got for free at the eye doctor, so of course I'm going to wear them, um, but, I had these really cute aviators. They were Michael Kors. They're beautiful. Um, and so I had them off because we were eating inside. And you know, you don't need to wear your sunglasses when you're eating inside. That makes no sense. But I had them off, and a counselor that we had a couple years ago for our boys came up and he was talking to us. And he was like, Ooh, whose sunglasses are these? And I was like, They're mine. He's like, Dude, I really like them. I'm going to wear them for the rest of the day, but my retinas will burn. Like, you don't understand. I've trained myself um, for the past two years for two weeks of 9 to 9 band camp out in the sun. So, you know, like, without sunglasses, my retinas are going to burn. But he's like, oh, no, I'll give them to you tomorrow. So, but, or he, he's like, tomorrow or, um, like, you know, after the session tonight. So, I was like, okay. So, I let him walk off with them. I never got them back. He told me, he was like, I was talking to all the other counselors, and they said that you were going to go Hunger Games on me. So, I would see you coming down the street, and he's like, I ran off the other way. Like, because I lost your sunglasses. So, I was like, oh, no, it's fine. So, we were at the beach. Well, we still are. We're not leaving until Saturday. But, um, yesterday, we, Mom and I were shopping, and we found a new pair of aviators that I really, really liked for $15. Um, because my other, my other aviators, my fossil ones, they broke. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute, but yeah, I've never owned a pair of aviators that are like black and shiny, I've always had like the brown or the gray, but these are black and shiny, and they're really cool, I got them for $15, I don't know what brand they are, because there's some local beach brand or something, but my fossil aviators broke because um, this part, like, I was trying to bend it or something, but it like broke, like, not even at this, at this, like screw where you can screw it back in it like broke like right before the screw so it's like um there's nothing you can do about it but these bend both ways so 
Um, that's really handy in case something happens so they can stretch to my face if my face were to get abnormally large. But um, yeah, I really like these so I got them. I'm really, really happy about them. Um, and then Wella Impact. I discovered an addiction that I had never known before. It is Nutella with Nilla Wafers. Now that's why you guys are probably like, what? But it's so good. Like, the Nilla Wafers are sweet, and so mixed with the Nutella sweetness, like, oh my gosh, it's from heaven. Like, it's fantastic. Um, yeah. They're just really great, so you guys need to go and try them. I've also tried Animal Crackers from Nutella. That's pretty good, too. The unfrosted kind, not the frosted kind. Um, something in the bathroom just went off, and I'm, like, in the room alone. And I'm not in the bathroom. Anyway, oh, I forgot to show everyone in my, um, Coral Reef video the, uh, mirror behind me. I'll show you guys. Look! It's a giant mirror! That's so exciting! Oh, oh, sorry guys. Covering the screen. Or the camera thing. Anyway, needless to say, there's this giant mirror along one whole wall. It looks awesome. I can check myself out no matter what. Ah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's like the little thing. Um, my little addiction, that's all I've, well, actually, that's not all I've been eating, but I've been eating a lot, um, especially because I'm allergic to milk. It sucks, but everyone else in the family is not allergic to milk, so one out of five people in the family is allergic to milk, so they go and buy ice cream, and you enjoy it, and it's awful because I love ice cream, but... So, well, they're enjoying, like, ice cream and with all these awesome toppings, like, strawberry ice cream with M&M's, which is the best thing ever. Like, I think I'd, you know, go for being sick to have strawberry ice cream with M&M's because it's awesome. I've been eating Nutella and Nilla wafers, which is not bad, but I have a feeling, since it is only day three, I'm going to get really, really tired of them really quickly. But, yeah, so that is, like, my beach vlog telling you all little stories, catching you guys up. It's really random, but yeah. Um, oh, they got new little bands for the Lipscum thing. I love Impact, although this year was really, really bad. Like, spiritually, it was really weak, and that's a big, big downer. Um, oh, also, we played Bible Trivia with my youth minister, um, a couple weeks ago, because we were so bored, we were at a lock-in with another church, but they were really, like, like, some of them were branching out, but some of them weren't, so, me, my youth minister, my friend Jenna, and my dad were sitting there playing Bible trivia, and one of the questions, like, these questions were ridiculously hard, one of them was, like, what's the difference between St. Bartholomew and St. Andrew's Cross, or something, okay, no one knew, my dad was Catholic until he was, like, 21, 22 ish, um, until he like switched to Church of Christ, which is what we are now, um, and he didn't know, even know the answer. And the answer was like it's oval or something, egg shaped, something like that. What? Like that's ridiculous. Who would know that stuff? It's like like the Pope. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, so I have like a minute to shut it down. If it's over ten minutes, I cannot upload it. Um, through the webcam, because then I have to, like, it's a big, long process. I think I've explained it to you guys before. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my random vlog. Um, yeah. But I will see you all later. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. And, yeah. So, bye.